But this year, the first person, if anyone throws up, they win a consolation prize, which I'll go over with the club. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. I need some people to sign waivers. Piper, Devil Apps. Oh, no. And uh, the angel. Oh, no. 
Wait, I, can I get my uh, current crew up on stage, please? Jen, Corey, Sarah, Brian, Emily, The Beverage. Where's your dad? Okay, this is my, uh, and uh, oh, there's the angel no wings notice because he never quite made it to heaven. Now, uh, this is my current crew at Obeys, which is great. And I also want to say, well, the crews I've had, this is, we're going in our third year, which is crazy and great. I've always been blessed with an incredible group of employees. So, can you give it up, please, for my people? <laughs> They've been helping us pull this off this year, great as in the past couple years. Now what I'm going to do is uh, call off numbers, oh, Betty will pick them out, she'll read them out, and then the contestants, the winners of the four uh, raffles will come up and then we'll dole out all the wonderful music and clothing and food uh, coupons, <laughs> and then we'll get into the, the meat of the uh, issue here, okay? Thank you, yes? <laughs> all right. Winner number one. Can you get in there? Buddy, buddy. I think you're in a pro at getting a little tight little place. Nine, zero, two, zero, three, seven. Do we have a win? All right. If you would, please, sir. Ticket number two. <laughs> if I let my stomach hang out, would you please let me know? <laughs> this year, I want to. Uh, uh, what else do I want? Cool. It's, uh,. The most hot dogs you can eat in 12 minutes, okay? Uh, Betty will, at the, when we kick it off, Betty will lower her uh, hot dog, what's that called, scepter? Hot dog scepter. The so contestants will dig in, they have 12 minutes, which is a long time to eat hot dogs. I mean, it's like real, it gets to the point where it's like, God, you know. And then, uh, <laughs> They each have in front of them a plate of 10 hot dogs. When they get down to like the last two or three hot dogs, we'll refresh their plate with a new plate of 10 hot dogs. Uh, the bun and dog must be consumed to count towards your final tally. When the gong sounds at the 12 minute mark, Nancy Burka will do that for us. Can you test it out for us? If a contestant has a dog in their mouth, if they can swallow what they have in and drop the rest on the plate, that counts towards our final tally, okay? Uh, so that'll increase our little uh, numbers this year. Also, I'm hoping the prizes will increase our numbers this year. The prizes are free rock posters from outside artists. They're limited editions. They're signed by the artists. We have uh, Southern Culture on the Skids, the Butthole Surfers. Southern Culture on the Skids is fun die, fun, fun die. done by Coop. Uh, we have a posing poster, Butthole Surfer poster, and an Alan Forbes poster. Uh, which are actually great. Um, now, back to the rules. Let's say someone has just, well, they don't have enough room in there to keep down what they've already taken in. We'll call that a Roman incidence. If a person has a Roman incidence this year, i.e., you know, uh, we have receptacles set up for that in case it happens. We don't encourage it. Because it's really something that, you know, yeah, it's gross. So, uh, if someone throws up, they are immediately disqualified. And this year we're asking them to take their little receptacle and leave the stage. Okay? <laughs> yeah, in disgrace and as discreetly as possible. <laughs> because last year uh, we had a numerous amount of Roman incidi. And it became distracting to our other contestants, like the smell and whatever. And what 
it was totally the big whatever. So uh, this year, if you have if you become upset with whatever if your uh, performance, just uh, leave the stage, and we won't be fun you. Now, uh, I think that's it. I want to remind the contestants that they can do whatever they want to do to get their hot dogs down, squeeze them, shove them in, dip them in water. There's condiments if you like. Use water. Uh, we'll keep the water pitches full. We'll keep your platters full. And um, do I have any questions? All right. Let me get the contestants up here then. I'm going to save you for last because you're our defending champion. Yes. James Howard is a fill-in. He just uh, locked in the competition just now. Is he here? James. Yeah. James Howard. Yeah. All right. Yeah. James, may I see you in your second place? Yeah. All right, do you have a, this is like a kind of a, all of a sudden here you are. Are you ready for this? Have you seen the taste from last year? No. That's a good thing. Uh, I want to wish you good luck, and I'm going to have you to sit right All righty. We will have Andrew T-Rex, please. This is Andrew's first year. We're proud to have him uh, represent Stomp Cafe. Andrew, when you come to the audience today about strategy, uh, you know, or uh, anything? Oh, yeah, I was thinking about it a lot, and uh, what my game plan today would be like, dog the dogs, cover them and catch them, and slide them down my throat. All right, there you have it. We'll witness that and see what happens. T-Rex, please, have a seat. All right, here we go with uh, a contender from last year. Uh, I want to say there was a lot riding on this fellow last year. We heard a lot from this contestant last year. <laughs> and so we were all like thinking about maybe he's going to win, but you know, he had a Roman incident. <laughs> but I have to give him credit, he did, that didn't happen until the very last minute of the competition, so he was right in there. But because of this Roman incident, he's down here with the newbies, Zach. The Bone Crusher Fuller, please. Beautiful. All right. This is a serious contender here, folks. He's got experience. He's coming back. He's going to try for the title again this year. Zach, any reflections about last year? I have no regrets from last year. The greatest 12 days of my life. <laughs> All right. And uh, your strategy this year, anything different? I invited the press. <laughs> Perfect. You've got a press man, that's the way to do it. Professional, Zach the Bone Crusher. Yeah. All right, uh, another first timer this year, Joe. Murphy. Go, deep throw, deep throw, Murphy, please. Where are you? There you go. Excuse me, suck my what? Dog. All right. And? Deep throw. All right, there you have it. I guess that says about it all. Thank you so much. No, I'm kidding. Now, Mr. Murphy. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? This is your first time. I know you might be kind of crazy, but you know, we hear you suck. So uh, what else? <laughs> Bob, everything in my life has led up to this moment. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> All right, Marcel. Good luck. You see the prizes? I know your shoes. All right. Now this is fun. Uh, we have two contestants from the band Loader Revolves today. And this is a special treat. I'm going to have both come up at the same time on stage. Karen, Carey, please. Yay! First time contender. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, ladies. This is a pleasure because uh, I'm thinking you're going to give these dudes a run for their money. Do you have anything? To to intimidate or anything to like, you know, win. I have my organs removed, so the hot dogs will fall off my feet. Beautiful. Anybody need some organs out there? I'll show them that way. I don't need to say anything. 
Beautiful. All right. Well, you know, we're placing you guys center stage. It's very exciting. I hope you don't have a gig tonight. <laughs> Piper, I forgot your nickname. The dog dumpster. Another first time contender. Now he's a, I think uh, he might surprise us because I assume this guy's a vegetarian. So uh, <laughs> because he's a wonderful customer, he always eats tofu dogs. Which is great. Yeah, I mean bratwurst maybe secretly, but I haven't seen that yet. So pipe the dog dumpster. Do you have anything to like share with the audience today? He's been trying not to puke, try to make it to the demolition derby. Are you all puke? <laughs> all right. Have a seat. Thank you. Now. Don Kincaid, Don the Dog Kincaid, to step on stage. Don, first of all, let me say that Don came in third place last year. He's a repeat of, uh, of a contender. And uh, I think Don would have had a better chance last year if he wasn't surrounded by the Romans, so to speak. He had him on the left of him, he had him on the right of him. So this year, we're placing him on the very end. And uh, we're going to see if we can break this record of last year, which was like nine, I think? Nine. Eight and a half, okay. And uh, Don, would you like to introduce your special friend here? This is Lola. Hello. Is she a wiener dog? Yes. <laughs> Lola, do you have anything to say? No. Uh, Don, anything different this year? Not really. Oh, I'm drinking iced tea instead of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Hope it works for you. <laughs> All right, Donnie, thank you. Now, bye, Lola. Hey, Don, no one's allowed to help you if you know what I mean. Now, uh, let's give a huge round of applause to our uh, returning. Where's Nate? Oh, Nate, I am so sorry. Nate the Oblaw Ebert. Nate, I'm sorry. Shoot. This is another newbie, a first timer. I think he feels the uh, tension, the excitement as the rest of us here. Nate, what are you thinking? First time? You heard about the brothers? Uh, Just don't listen to the peanut gallery. I, I got the munchies. All right. <laughs> All right. And now I'd like to have Michael Brown come on stage, the reigning hot dog eater of Athens, Ohio, champion, 2004, 11 hot dogs. Mike. Welcome back. I'm really proud and excited to see you here as are we all people, right? This is the first year we've had people come back to the show, so it's really great. What do you have to say? Are you going to blow them away again this year? Let's do this. All right. Let's get serious. It's time to go. All right. Do we have the timekeeper? All right. People right there. They have 12 minutes. We have the music ready. Danny's in charge of music. Leo's doing videography. Is everybody ready, contenders? How are you feeling? Yeah. Are you okay? Okay, guys, if you want to, you can stand up. You don't have to sit down. I just want to make sure that you feel good about what you're doing. Also, if you feel you're going to, uh, you know, the point is not to throw up. I just want to make a little bit of a Okay, ready? Nancy, you ready? Timekeeper? Go! Oh, my God. Here we go.
you made it through the 12 minutes, and then so you're not disqualified. But uh, you probably did better already than most of them. Very exciting today. Let me just circle these. First of all, this was very much more serious than I've ever seen it before. I mean, we had one, two, three, like five backup plates ready for them to dig in. Dig in. We actually had like one, two, three people go into their second plate of gold. Yeah, give it up. That's great. Now, uh, this year I just want to. We have a in third place. Oh, this is going to be challenging. What we have here is we have a tie for first place, a tie for second place, and then uh, one for third place. So, yeah, no more, no, not 12 more minutes. So we, uh, third place with nine hot dogs from Loader Revolvers. Yeah. 
Okay. This was donated by Kid Hand Hands. Um, this is an original one of kind uh, CD collection of their music. Donated to the, it was supposed to be to the first person who threw up. We only had one. That qualifies. After the competition, that still says, the, you know, it's fine. He's on stage when it happened. Uh, he wins the I Can Dress Myself ribbon and plus this beautiful set of um, music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.